Hey everyone, welcome to Dahlberg Lake. I'm out here with Phil Rowley from Trout Unlimited Canada. And you know, fishing this time of year can really be very rewarding, but it kind of depends on your threshold for pain because it was pretty cool when we got out here this morning. A little breezy today. Long as the fish are biting. Brisk. Wind's supposed to drop later on today, so that'll be good, I hope. So it's late fall. You want to target the shallows. Water less than 10 feet deep. This is where fish are going to be stocking up for winter because they're going to need the nourishment from this fall feeding to build up their fat reserves to get them through the long, cold winter ahead. Oh, shoot, I missed them. That was bad. <laughs> Ooh, that looks kind of neat. Angry, angry cloud. All right, fish on. Looks like a nice little rainbow. Eating the bottom fly, the, the bruised leech, black with blue highlights. So we have got the first of what we hope to be Grand Slam here on Dahlberg, which is rainbow, brown, and tiger trout. Nice little, nice little fish here. So let's see what he's been eating. We're just gonna turn him over, settle him down a little bit, depress the bulb, down the throat, vacuum forms, withdraw, good. And drink, and let him go. Oh, well, look at that. That is zooplankton. Very microscopic. You don't want to tie flies that small. So the, the cure for that is uh, hanging leeches or stripping leeches or an English fly called a blob that we hang in different colors, oranges, chartreuses, greens that match the color of the zooplankton. And we can take fish that way. So it's, uh, I wish they were eating bigger things, but it's not the end of the world. Well, I started fishing Dahlberg a few months after moving here to Alberta about 15 years ago and soon discovered, like many of these Alberta trout lakes, how productive they were, how fast they could grow big fish. This lake has a rich food base, minnows, a spectacular water boatman and back swimmer fall in the autumn, uh, leeches, dragonfly nymphs, coronamids, that muddy bottom, coronamids love to live in that. So a rich habitat for, to grow big fish. And then a few years ago, the regulations changed on this lake to more of a, I guess, a, a trophy status or a quality fishery. And then the lake has just blossomed. They've since stocked a couple years ago, brown trout, they're starting to get into the 16, 18 inch range. And then I believe it was last fall, started putting tiger trout in there, that brookie brown cross that are such a popular fish with fly fishers. So you have a, a really unique fishery, a chance to get three different species. And the good thing is, is usually one or two of those species are always on the job, meaning you can catch a fish at any time. So it's just a really unique experience that's so close to Edmonton. These water bodies are significant because Trout Unlimited Canada is all about um, water conservation and restoring natural habitats. So generally, put and take stock fishing is not really the answer to conservation problems, but if lakes like this to take pressure off natural stocks, that's a good thing. And then we can continue the good work we do rehabilitating those waters because we have these waters to take the pressure off those natural stocks. Well, that is a wrap from Dolberg Lake, folks. Unfortunately, we were not able to bring in a brown trout, but hey, that's fishing. My thanks to Phil Rowley from Trout Unlimited for spending the day uh, with us and showing us just what this lake has to offer by some uh, bringing in some really amazing fish. Till next time, I'm Michael Short. Let's go outdoors.